Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hunter Hunter Institute, the perfect spot for Hunter Hunter lovers to discuss all things related to this series. And this time, we're going to have a discussion you've never seen before. For our highlight today, we have Isoka and Krolo, two of the most popular characters in the whole series. I'm sure that within the fandom, I'm not the only one who doesn't want either of them to die. The Hisoka vs Krolo battle in the Heavens Arena, man, don't you think it was one of the best fights in the whole series? Each attack they made showed us both of their very complicated but powerful Nen abilities. It was heartbreaking for many fans to see Shalnark and Kordopi's lives end at Hisoka's hands. After the death of two of their members, Krolo and the rest of the Phantom Troop has been on the hunt for Hisoka on the Black Whale. We don't get to see him for a long time, but with the release of Chapter 392, we finally get a scene with Hisoka again. But is that really Hisoka? There's a possibility that it's actually Krolo in disguise, or at least some fans are considering this possibility. Because of this, we here at the Hunter Hunter Institute decided to analyze this theory. Join us as we explore this possibility in this video. Let's have a fun discussion till the end. Before we continue, please note that some of the content in this video is not included in the printed volumes of the series. If you're one of the people who fan over Hisoka, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you rather support Krolo and the Phantom Troop, make sure to send the troop some supportive messages in the comment section below. And with that, let's jump to the main part of this video. How Krolo Disguised Himself you might ask, how would Krolo disguise himself as Isoka? The key to this just might be one of his fellow troop members. Can you guess who among the spiders it is? If you guess Manolinov, then you're on the same boat as us. If you've seen our video about Manolinov, you'll remember that one of his special Nen abilities is the Battle Cantabile. If you haven't seen this video, feel free to check it out from our channel. Now, Battle Cantabile is Manolinov's ability to create music through the holes in his body. When he performs a dance, he turns his movements into a power powerful combat power. Among his techniques is metamorphosis. This allows him to change his appearance into different things based on the limitations he set for this Nen ability. If you've read chapter 377 of the manga, I'm sure you'll recall when Benolanov talked about this ability with Krolo and Shizuki. Because Benolanov didn't really have a good idea of how he can make use of this ability, he said, depending on the conditions, I can transform to various things. He then tells their leader, I'll leave it to Krolo. And Krolo responds with, I have something I want you to do for me. What's this thing he wants from Banolinov? What are the possibilities that it's a request to transform something? There's also one of Krolo's stolen Nen abilities, Convert Hands. When this technique is activated, his right hand causes his target to look exactly like him, while his left hand allows Krolo to take on the form of his target. And when he uses both hands to touch a target, they immediately switch forms. Combine this with his other technique, Double Face. This one lets him use the technique on the bookmark page in a special book. If he bookmarks Convert Hands and Benolinov uses Metamorphosis to transform himself to Hisoka, then it's easy to imagine Krolo using Convert Hands to switch appearances with anyone, particularly Benolinov disguised as Hisoka. If this is the case, then Krolo's request to Benolinov is for him to transform himself into Hisoka. Now some fans might think, but how about his voice? Yeah, if the voice is different from the real Hisoka, then this plan to disguise as Hisoka would be foiled at once. But Benolinov's tech technique doesn't seem to be a simple disguise. He himself called it a transformation, so perhaps the change will also include the voice. With this, it might not be so difficult for Krolo to transform into Hisoka. Point 1. He cannot lie. Since his appearance on the Black Whale, Hisoka has already been asked three times if he is actually Hisoka, and all these times he was asked, he didn't give an answer. Maybe Hisoka just wanted to stay mysterious. Maybe he isn't really Hisoka. Lynch, Zakuro, and Henry Henry all tried to ask him if he was Hisoka, but Hisoka never confirmed his identity, even when he agreed to cooperate with the Mafia. How suspicious. There might be a very important reason for this. If this Hisoka is actually Krolo using his double face technique, then one of the restrictions for this technique might be, you can't lie. Let's go back to the battle between Krolo and Hisoka in Heaven's Arena. Didn't you find the way Krolo explained his abilities in a not so Krolo like manner? One would think that he would have used some sort of deception while talking about such technique, but throughout his explanation, he didn't lie at all. And in chapter 355, Hisoka said, Krolo's not lying, huh? 
It would have been easy to have this theory collapse if Hisoka even once admitted his true identity. But instead we see a Hisoka who just ignores the question three times. Doesn't this Hisoka give the vibe that he's not telling the whole truth? Point two, hands are always out. Question time, Hunter Hunter fans. Are you ready? Here we go. Question one, have you ever seen Hisoka wearing clothes with pockets? And if he did wear clothes with pockets, have you ever seen him put his hands in the pockets? Well, if you ask me, I don't remember any scene showing Hisoka with his hands in his pockets. Question two, have you ever seen Krolo put his hands in his pockets? If you've read the manga and watched the series, then you've also seen Krolo with his hands in his pockets. The Hisoka we see on the Black Whale had actually put his hands in his pockets. This gesture is very unlike Hisoka, but quite like Krolo. Did this simple action pique your curiosity as well? And how about the clothes he's wearing? Don't you think that the symbol mark on the back of what this Hisoka is wearing looks more like Krolo's fashion? If we consider the theory that this Hisoka is actually Krolo in disguise, then maybe the reason he's been putting his hands in his pocket is to hide his convert hands ability. When Krolo uses this technique, the marks showing that convert hands is activated will remain on his palms. It would be wise for Krolo to keep walking with his hands in his pockets to avoid people from seeing those marks. What do you think about this reasoning? Let us know in the comments section if you agree with this or not. Now let's move on to point three, which is also connected to the previous points we mentioned. Point three, hiding the palms. Let's take a closer look at the scene when Hisoka and Henry were talking about each other in chapter 393. When Henry was handing over Hisoka his VIP card, Hisoka tried to grab it, but what does he end up doing? He actually withdrew his hand instead of taking the card. The question is, why would Hisoka suddenly do that. Perhaps this Hisoka caught himself in action before someone else sees his palm and discovers his real identity. Let's remember that the mark of convert hands will remain on Krolo's palm as long as it's activated. And if you look closely at this scene, there's actually a panel that's a close-up of his hand. Don't you think that Togashi Sensei is giving us fans a hint here? Point four, the movie he's watching. Going back to chapter 393, Hisoka and Henry meet at the movie theater where Hisoka was watching a certain movie. And it's not just any random movie, it's actually a movie that has a hint in it. Do you remember the number of the cinema where Hisoka was? If you said eight, your memory's sharp. Now you may ask, why is the cinema number important? Looking closely at the page, the panel where the number eight is displayed looks like it was intentionally made to stand out. And if we look more closely, the page where this panel is, is actually on, Wait for it, page eight of chapter 393. Coincidence? I don't think so. And if you're one of the fans who has keen perception, you'd notice that there's a movie called Thing on the main area of the movie theater. Have you ever seen this movie? The Japanese title of this movie is actually Yusai Kara no Butai X, or Object X from a Planet, in English. Some of you might be skeptical and think we're just overthinking it, but for the very passionate fans out there, you might remember how Togashi Sensei once said that Kishimoto Sensei, the creator of Naruto, likes the famous American filmmaker, John Carpenter. And what's one of the movies that John Carpenter directed? You guessed it, he directed The Thing way back in 1982. This isn't a coincidence. The main story of this movie is that an unknown life form from outer space attacks the members of a group of researchers. And how does it attack the group? By imitating the appearance of others. It's kind of hinting that Krolo has changed his form into Hisoka, don't you agree? Point five, facial expressions. If we go back to chapter 366 of the manga, a stranger commented to Krolo, what's wrong? Your face looks terrible. While it wasn't the nicest thing to say, it was a reasonable comment seeing how depressed Krolo looked at that scene. Fast forward to Hisoka's reappearance on the black whale. He's not his usually bubbly self, but rather, he's acting strange. Not that he isn't usually strange, but he seemed off from the Hisoka we all know. Why the hollow expression, eyes, and even attitude? Tell us, fellow fans, when you see Hisoka on the black whale, didn't you feel that something was off with him? Instead of his usual evil grin, we got a Hisoka showing expressions we've never seen on him before. Did you also notice a certain habit of this Hisoka? Whenever he talked with someone, either he looks down or he looks the other way. We have haven't seen him look directly to the person he's talking to. Some fans would say, maybe Hisoka had a personality change and turned into a more melancholy person after he experienced death, but this doesn't really align with how he acted toward Machi upon his revival, not to mention how he went into a crazy killing spree with Shalnark and Kordopi. He didn't have any sign of being melancholy at that time. The composed and quiet Hisoka on the Black Whale and the Hisoka before seem to be two different people. Now, who has the habit of looking away when talking to people? Crow. 
If you look back to chapter 366 and chapter 377, you'll notice that he never did look at the people he talked to. Looking at his eyes, they look more like they belong to Krolo more than to Hisoka. Point six, the trump card symbols. This is probably one of the things that fans noticed. In the past chapters before they boarded the Black Whale, Hisoka's lines would always end with the symbols from the trump card. This is like his signature mark on the manga. However, out of the 18 balloon speeches Hisoka had since he appeared on the Black Whale, the trump card symbol was only used once. Once. If you compared it with his appearances in the previous arcs of the series, this seems very unnatural and un hisoka like Point seven, can I ask one question? Let's go back again to the scene when Hisoka and Henry talked with each other. Hisoka actually asked him, can I ask you one thing? This line, it's totally foreshadowing if you ask me. For Hisoka to actually ask permission before asking a question, tell me this is something the real Hisoka would actually do. If we go way back to when Krolo met Neon and was talking with her, he actually asked her, can I ask you one thing? And that's not the only time he uses that line. When he was talking to Zeno, what did he say? You got it right. Krolo actually asked him, can I ask you one thing? Isn't this like one of Krolo's catchphrases? Asking for permission when he had a question is more a Krolo like thing to do. No other character seems to do this, at least not Hisoka. Point eight, me or the troop. This was another line that stood out during Hisoka's conversation with Henry. Who do you think will win, me or the troop? This doesn't seem like something Hisoka would ask somebody he met for the first time. Going back again to that time when Krolo fought Zeno, Krolo asks the older Zoldic something quite similar to what Hisoka asked Henry. Krolo's question to Zeno, if we fought one on one, who would win, me or you? That line is more likely to be something that Krolo would say. Point nine, Krolo's goal. We've gone into detail the reasons why we think the Hisoka on the Black Whale is actually Krolo in disguise, but some of you might still be skeptical and ask, why would Krolo do this? Shouldn't he be hunting Hisoka? Why would he disguise as Hisoka? Reasonable questions. But let me ask you, what is Krolo's main goal right now? That is, to search all over the ship for Hisoka. If he's aiming for this, then he has to gain access to all of the tiers of the Black Whale. Going back to chapter 377, Krolo asked one of the Mafia members a question, and that is, how to access the top tier of the Black Whale. To access this tier, one needs a VIP card. And what does Henry give to Hisoka during their meeting at the movie theater? Bingo! A VIP card. If Krolo is disguised as Hisoka, then he is one step closer to his goal. But wait, there might be more than just that. Perhaps he also wanted to find out just who is behind the Mafia, and disguising as Hisoka certainly helped with this. Perhaps he might have been using the disguise as a bait for the real Hisoka to appear. The real Hisoka would surely be curious to find out who's impersonating him on the Black Whale. In any case, it is vital for Krolo to get to the top tier, so he would have gotten that solved if he actually went undercover as Hisoka. Now there might be some scenes disproving this theory. One of them is Lynch saying, that guy's Hisoka. Her Nen ability, body and soul, would have proved this. On the contrary, there is also a possibility that Krolo, disguising as Hisoka, actually knocked her out before her Nen ability was activated. To back this up, Lynch's body and soul was activated after she punched twice, but it didn't seem to have activated when she used it on Hisoka. As for Zakuro saying the same thing, that guy's Hisoka, there's a chance that he had said this because he's the most dangerous person he's ever come across. Can you imagine someone as powerful as either Hisoka or Krolo being beaten easily with such Nen abilities? Considering her lack of voice when she was using her ability, and then her immediate knockout, it's quite unlikely that Lynch activated her Nen on time, which means that she probably didn't hear an honest answer despite trying to attack Hisoka. And there we have it, our nine points about this theory. If you were on the fence before about this theory, did hearing these points convince you that Hisoka we see on the Black Whale is actually Krolo in disguise? What an interesting theory, don't you think? If your hands are in your pockets, take them out and let us know in the comments what your thoughts are about this theory. We love hearing from our fellow fans on this channel. It was sad that the series went under hiatus again, but we finally got to see Hisoka, is it really him? While Karapika had his hands busy with the succession war. With his reappearance, it looks like the Phantom Troop versus Hisoka is about to begin. Raise your hands if you're as excited about this as I am. If you're a fan of Krolo and wish for him to survive, then you are already a part of the Hunter Hunter Institute. And there we have our video for today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of our videos, where we'll continue exploring the wonderful world of Hunter Hunter. We hope to see you again in our next video. Thank you for joining us today. Signing off, the Hunter Hunter Institute.